Hey YouTube, this is Matt Matthew, and today I'm gonna show you how to run um, Final Fantasy VII or just about any PlayStation One game in HD high definition. Uh, preferably, I'm gonna be using 720p because since that is the default lower end of the high definition spectrum, so that's what we're gonna use. Um, there's gonna be a few things you're gonna need. Um, one of them is optional, but highly recommended. Um, I recommend using um, a gaming controller for your, for your PC, for your game controller needs. Um, right now I'm using, um, for this particular one, um, I'm using a Circa PS3 controller. It's um, a Chinese knockoff, very good for emulators and such, just for the fact that you just plug it in, the PC recognizes it, you don't need no external drivers, no motion joy, nothing like that. You just plug it in and turn it on and it works just fine, works fine for emulators. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, the second thing you're going to be needing is EPSXE right here. Um, I'm currently using 1.9.0 with all the plugins, all of the all of the plugins as well as um, the PSXE USA BIOS. Um, if you guys don't have that, I'll try to find a way to give it to you guys. I'll post a link in my description or something of that nature. Um, so what we're going to do is, um, first of all, we're going to need you to open up your EPSXE right here. I have it right here. Um, second of all, we're going to go to the config section and we're going to go to your video section now if you don't have your gaming controller configured already in the same section right here gamepad port one you're going to click on pad one and you could configure your ps your um your game controller to the emulator as you guys see i already have mine configured so moving on we're going to go to configure and video um, since I have all of the video plugins, audio plugins whatsoever, so I don't really have problems with plugins, but if you guys, I highly recommend you get all the plugins available just, just, just so you, just so you can have the maximum compatibility. So we're going to be using Pete's open GL2 drivers 2.9. You can click on test so it can say plugins working correctly. Now we're going to go into configure. So this is what I have right now. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on full screen. So that way that when you load in your game, it automatically goes in, into full screen and not the window screen. Second thing, we're going to change the desktop resolution of it. And we're going to go to, if you guys want 720p, it's um, 1280 by 720. But if you guys want 1080p, if you guys want real 1080p, gonna go all the way down to 1920 by 1080 and that's 1080p but for the sake of this video as well for the sake of my video card I'm just gonna stick with 7, 720 right now but if you guys have a better video card a high-end video card you guys could try 10, 1080p um, color def 32 bit um, this is where most of the this is where most of the changes that we're gonna do everything else it's pretty much the faults. So um so uh right here the internal X resolution put it all the way up to very high. Everything here is pretty much gonna go to very high. <laughs> ultra all dry. This one is very important. If you guys don't if you guys don't know the capability of of your graphics card most modern PCs now have a pretty decent built-in graphics card. Um, as long as your graphics card is about 512 MB or actually over, you should be fine. Anything less than that, I really recommend you guys lowering these settings to maybe native, you know, low, low, low ends. But if you guys have a really high-end PC, really high-end graphics card, then having these maximum settings um, shouldn't really bother you. So, so sketching mode zero, render mode two, everything else, internal, Y resolution, ultra, very high. There goes my phone. <laughs> um, texture filling, as same, very high. 
Number two, graphics VRAM, auto detect. Not gonna touch that. Not gonna touch that. Use frame limits. Um, if I, if I, you guys are benchmarking, um, you should really uncheck this. But if, but if you guys are not benchmarking, well then you can put the frame limits that way. That will keep it like the max at sixty frames per second. Um, compatibilities. Leave everything off. Uh, extended. Number three, full emulation, standard. Um, screen filtering, check check mark zero. I think if it's in most most of these are already standard, so the only thing you really really need to change is right here the top portion right here. Um, the textures as well as the internals, res resolution, everything else, more default as well as compatibility. Um, after that, press OK. Everything's loading. Press OK, and we're gonna go here to run ISO. Uh, find your game. Um, I chose Final Fantasy Seven, and there you go. Go, guys. Wait for the game to load up. Um, I'm using a very cheap PC, um, quad core processor, two gigabytes um, of um, video RAM. So that's why I stick with 720p. But if you guys have a real game PC, preferably maybe around 800 plus, 800 plus, you guys probably could do 1080p. I, I could probably, this PC that I have could probably do 1080p, but I just don't, I'll probably risk it later and I'll probably see how far I could take this hate this PC so I'll probably do 10 1080p on this game another time but um we will see how this game is it's a little slow on start but so I increase the volume a little bit so I can get ready to view squares off there goes the title and you guys, if you like, I like I play Final Fantasy VII on the original PS PS One because I had it for the original PS One, and I can already tell you that this really, this really, this really is a big difference. So I click new game so I can show you guys the movie scene. Um, everything is this is this is my true remake right here. This is my true. Final Fantasy 7 right here. This is how if um, they will ever do this officially, this is how I want Final Fantasy 7 to look. Because um, I played the Steam version, the um, Steam version, the portable version that they did, and I feel it to be completely horrible. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just my computer. I don't know what it is. I just find the game horrible. It's a bad port. As well as the Final Fantasy 8 port that Steam has. I just find it very bad. Um, I did play the original. They did originally make had the HD um, late, late, later on when they started doing HD mods for this game for the PC port um, I did try them and I didn't really find the mods to be any good so this is why I chose um, PS1 emulation and just mess with settings and all that and this is why I
so this will be the 